The thing about small businesses is they've got a soul that commercialism seems to have sucked out of so much else. You can see the hard work that goes into all of it. The CEOs of these small businesses are, are working their asses off constantly with minimal recognition, whereas the CEOs of the biggest companies of the world are getting money, recognition, popularity, but their work is the same. There's something about small business that seems to be a bit more experimental. You're trying to just make your way through the business world. You don't have an empire of people doing your bidding and making sure that you're making a profit. Sometimes you're working week to week. Sometimes you're working day to day. The ability to adapt as a small company is much quicker than these massive companies you see and it's much more exciting. The growth is yet to come. You get to see the story before the growth and personally for me that's the most fascinating thing. Painting the picture of what the business will become before it's made it there is what I really want to see and I want to experience. I want to bring a bit of life back to the business world. I want to make it feel like it has some excitement, something that you don't see everywhere else, something unique. The personality of a business is so much more intimate when it's small and waiting to grow. And that's why small businesses have always been my first choice. And that's why I want to promote them for free. What we want to do at EntreConnect is provide a platform for small businesses, entrepreneurs, startups to, to be seen by loads of people in one place. By building a community that love small business, that love entrepreneurs, that love the idea of hearing their story and the joy is that as we grow we become more effective with that we can offer more to these small businesses and the more we can offer to small businesses the quicker they can grow the more stories we can get out there and the spotlight's really going to help with that the blood sweat and tears that every entrepreneur puts into their business it deserves to be seen by so many more than it so often is the idea that there are just millions of people out there working on something that they're really passionate about that maybe no one will ever see. It really hurts me. I find it horrendous because there's so much work going into everything. And if you do manage to get it off the ground and get it started, that's your first step. If we can offer the second step, well, that'll make me just so much happier. Given that the more we grow, the more effective we can be, it would be fantastic if you could go and like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also go and follow our social media accounts because what we'll be able to offer over all platforms if we have a good following is so much more for small businesses. Imagine a day where we have, I don't know, 10,000 subscribers. That's 10,000 people who are being notified about whatever new small business we're covering. That's 10,000 people who normally you wouldn't be able to reach. We want to interview the CEOs. We want to find out the founder's story. What made them come up with the idea? What was their passion behind it? What brings their business into the world and what gives their business a personality? Learning why entrepreneurs start can inspire other people to become entrepreneurs. There's something so magical about the way that these sort of businesses can actually touch people's lives. By offering an interview format, it gives the founders a true platform to really get personal with us and tell us what this business means to them. We also wanna show you the behind the scenes of the business because any founder can say anything about their business in reality. But once you see the nuances in the background, the excitement on the faces of people who are working there, the joy and the laughter of meetings and creation and imagination. These things often seem to go amiss when people describe businesses. It shows us what normally we would not see. We want to show you what really makes this business tick. We've worked with theatre companies and sitting down to a table read was fascinating because you see how actors transform and how it can bring this business to life. We started working with a record label and seeing a performance in 
a small art gallery is a fantastic start to their growth story. Seeing people clapping and dancing, even a few, shows that already this art is helping people and it's pushing people to be better and it's giving people enjoyment and you can see on the face of the founder how much it means to them. Honestly, the experiences I've had already have been so exciting, so so fascinating, and it's put me in positions that I never thought I'd be in. And honestly, while I pushed myself out of my comfort zone to go and do it, I fell in love with it. And what this lockdown's taught me is that I want to get back out there, and I want to keep doing this, and I want to make sure I can help as many as of these small businesses as possible. When we're working with small businesses, we want to make sure that they feel like we are working for them. We're working for their growth. We're working for their business to be great. So the relationship we have beyond the video will be follow-up videos, social media posts, making sure that people still know your name beyond the initial spotlight video. I just want to be able to tell their stories. I just want to be able to show their business to the world and with the spotlight i truly believe this is possible